So let me, let me ask you this. If you get a chance, which I'm sure you do quite often, to get in front of young people, um, let, let's call them early 20s, like just starting their lives and their sort of careers, what, what are some of the things that you try to always impart on them? What I share is beyond the just follow your heart. I do think that there is a sense of having a vision or a mission or a purpose, which is even incorporating the heart. But it has, again, a little... Um, meat around the bones and so from the very beginning i talk about having some sense of a of a mission a purpose a vision for which that's the expectancy of walking into your life's journey and if you have that north star then it helps make decisions along the way relative to your life partner your career where you want to live because you have that rootedness and so for me the kind of um Start is to know where your roots and your foundation is, your values, as well as then where that wants to carry you. But to know that you can't really go far if your roots become uprooted mm. in terms of your own life gets too far out of balance and to know yourself well enough to know that. So that the essence is, yeah, you can say, oh, follow your heart. But to me, it's more knowing your own sense of values your own sense of your own foundational roots so that that can sustain you over time when you don't get your first job or your girlfriend or your boyfriend leaves you and you're left and you have a heart broken. So it's not just following your heart, it's yeah. having a sense of the roots and then the wings to fly you through life's journey. So powerful. That's that's the one thing when I get asked, like, what regrets do you have? You know, if I'm getting, being asked about my career and, you know, I usually there's things I've messed up and things I wish I had done differently. But I, I don't think of regrets so much because I learned from those things. I wouldn't exactly. have gotten better. Right. You have to get the scars to be able to. But the one thing I say now that, you know, I, I found my purpose six or seven years ago coming through Leadership Atlanta. And I just say, that's the one thing I wish I had had early because I think I was yeah. chasing other people's expectations of me or success as defined by our society and They're not cool. going after. Yeah. yeah. And so I think that's, I love that that was your answer because that's now the one thing that I just try to impart on everyone. If I'm giving a book talk about whatever, I always try to end with, but if you're going to do one thing, dig into this part of you, figure out what your purpose is. Why are you here mm -hmm. and from that point? I mean, your life is going to be so much better. Mm-hmm.